you guys, Lexi here from another top 5 video. Now today's one I've actually had some request, so I decided since I had some spare time I thought I'd actually go on and do it. So this is what I've been actually want to do for a while. I'm also planning to do a top 5 cheapies as well, I know a lot of people talk about the best bang for your buck cents. So yeah, this one is top 5 fragrances for teens. So uh, yeah, this was a bit difficult to put together. Uh, top 5 is I find a lot more uh, a lot harder because there's so many choices and you try to really narrow it down. So anyhow, enough of my chat and let's get started. So number 5 on the list is Black Excess Lexi by Paco Rabanne. This came out in 2012. I think this is a great one for teens. This is lowest on the list because it's the most childish out of the lot. Uh, when I, uh, my basis in this video isn't for just teenagers but teenagers who want to become real fragrance heads, you know, real frag heads, they want to become real connoisseurs. I don't want to jump on the bandwagon, they just want to pick something that's just for them. So this is for the, the sort of connoisseur, the, the teenager who wants to get out, like I say all the teenagers are wearing Yope and One Million, this list is for teenagers who want to wear stuff that's still within their age group, but different and more picked out. They don't walk out, they don't walk out of a store and buy it because it's advertised, they walk into a store and they know what they want there and then, I'm going to specifically buy this, that sort of scent. So this, this scent is sort of, I picked them to be sort of unique now. I explain my choices as I do them. So this is Black Excess Lexi by Pac Rabanne. So this one I just think is the best. I'll, I like the whole Black Excess thing. I think Black Excess a, a, a lot. Probably, um, I like it because it's different from One Million, if that makes sense, in its own way. And it doesn't actually get that talked about. So let's say one in five guys wears One Million, like so maybe one in 30 or one in 20 will wear Black Excess. So it's, it's not as popular, but I think Lexi is the best of the bunch. The original Lexus is good, and as I've uh, done a recent review on uh, Lexi and sorry, Black Excess Potion, I think out of them, Lexi is the best. As far as scent, projection, and longevity goes, this one's good. The scent's like pineapples right off the bat. It's like sweet pineapples, but I know a lot of people go, it's an Aventus clone. It's nothing like Aventus, really. This is like tinned pineapples, really sweet tinned pineapples. Kind of synthetic, but it's that sweet you can kind of get away with it. Really, really nice. Projection's really, really good. I usually get about maybe 8 to 10 hours with, sometimes 8, depends on the weather, sometimes it, uh, the weather's cold weather, it's not the best, but it's still not too bad, it is strong, so about 8 to 10 hours, and maybe 3 to 4 hours of decent projection, it's quite strong for the first uh, hour, it dies down a wee bit in the second hour, it comes within, hovers about the, above the skin for about the third hour, and then becomes a skin scent in the fourth, so it's, it's just not too bad to be fair, projection wise, I think this is the best, at the lot, it's a cool bottle, I always think the 50ml look better with black excess, because they look more like a zippo lighter, Whereas the taller ones don't look as cool, but still can't complain. So that's number five, Black Excess Lexi by Paco Ban from 2012. Next up is a fragrance in 2009. This is Only the Brave by Diesel. And I know a lot of people going, what are you saying Only the Brave for? I know it says for connoisseurs, this is a great scent. I love this. I really, I love this one a lot. This is a 35ml I got for Christmas. I haven't worn it that much, but when I have worn it, I've loved it. I really need to start wearing it more. And it's just, it's a bit of a cut above your more young and youthful scents, this one's a bit better quality. I love a lot of the diesels, I love only the Brave, only the Brave Tattoo, pardon me, Fuel for Life and Fuel for Life Spirit. I mean, it was a tough choice, I was going to include Spirit in this, but I thought because Spirit had that sweet, almost, uh, not one million vibe, but not a sweet vibe, I tried to sort of pick specific ones. This could maybe be called an aquatic or a sporty scent. I think it's quite nice, I think you could wear this maybe to a date. I think it's damn good. I think it's a really good scent. Longevity and projection are excellent. I easily get 10 to 12 hours of this and a good 4 hours of decent projection. I mean, for the first hour and 2 hours, it's really, really strong. Dies down the third hour, hovers to about an inch for the fourth hour, and then becomes a skin scent after that. But it's really, really quite strong. You still get whiffs of it, even after I think it's become a skin scent. Really strong. Really nice. We'll probably be a lot of people wearing this, but not as much as, say, 1 million and stuff. But it's just a really nice scent. I, I, I mean, I'm 21 and I still wear this, so I mean. I can easily see myself wearing this on 25 and up. When this one runs out, I'll definitely be buying 100ml. Really nice scent. So moving on to number 3. This is CK1 Shock by Calvin Klein. This came out in 2011. That's an excellent, excellent scent. This one's sort of youthful, but at the same time kind of mature, kind of romantic. So I've got, I've got some in my hand here. Uh, this one's weird, you can't really sniff the nozzle. It's also a splasher spray. You can unscrew this and splash it on if you want as well. As well as spraying it. So cool bottle, I quite like the bottle, there's also a street version which I was trying to get my hands on to do a, a video on and compare them, so I'll be doing a versus and those at some point if I can get my hands on it. Really really nice scent, got my hand here, it's that sort of gourmandy, you know, really nice out there, it doesn't, like, even though it's, this one's priced cheap, I mean I got my 100ml for about £30, £33 I think it was, 
So for 100 ml for 33 pounds, damn good price, but it doesn't smell cheap. It's really, really good quality fragrance. This one really good. Projection and longevity are really good as well. I get about eight hours, two to three hours of strong projection. After that, it melts down. Really, really nice scent. Probably the Obsession, I think, is the best from CK from Calvin Klein. I should say it's the second best in the in the house. These two, the, this and Obsession, are the main ones that project the real beast ones in the house. So this is really, really good. So do check this one out. That's CK One Shock for him by Calvin Klein, released in 2011. Next up, we have the Chanel House. How could I not include the Chanel House, to be honest? So, this is Blue de Chanel, released in 2010. Really, really cool bottle, magnetic cap, which I love. Now, this is what I consider the entry level Chanel. I know there's a Lure Home, a Lure Home Sport, and a Lure Home Sport or Extreme, but I think this one's more of the, the entry level Chanel. It's a lot youthful smelling, but it's really good. Like, you could wear this in your teens, you can also wear this in your 50s, if you know what I mean. Really good. Projection's not too bad on me. Longevity's not bad. I get maybe 8 hours of this, but uh, longevity. And about 3 hours projection. 2 to 3 hours, it starts to go fairly strong. Becomes more moderate after, after the second hour. And mail is down after that. But I mean, I still get whiffs of it now and then. Really, really nice scent. So if you're, in, if you're interested to get into Chanel's, I think it's a great one to start off with before you start um, messing around with Allure and Platinum Eagles and stuff. I think this is probably your best starter one. I was going to Celeste uh, Allure Rome Sport, but Allure Rome Sport and Extreme style got a bit of classy masculine. Maybe it might be a wee bit older to pull them off, that's just me. But this one I think is a great entry level Chanel. You want to up your game a little bit. It's also the most, well, I say they're going up in price, this isn't the most expensive. The last one, now my number one, you'll, you'll, a lot of people will probably look at my number one and go, why the hell did he choose that? But you really love it. This is Blue de Chanel. This isn't cheap, mind you, this retails about. 50 mils will cost you about 46. So it's a bit dearer than the other ones I mentioned, but you really do get your money's worth, it's great. So that's Blue de Chanel by Chanel, released in 2010. So, number one. What is my number one teen scent? Well, a lot of people really probably, there's two types of people who go watching this video. There's those that really go, that's an excellent scent, excellent choice. And then those that are really going, how the hell did they say Blue de Chanel and then top it with this? That is Armani's Attitude Extreme. This came out, I believe it's 2009 for this one, by Giorgio Armani. And it's a flanker to the original Armani Attitude. Now I've sniffed Armani Attitude and I really, really like it. I also really like this. I know a lot of people say Attitude smells a bit better. I think it might smell a bit better. I can't remember. I sniffed it a while ago. Uh, I've only sniffed this recently. I need to get my hands on Attitude again. Really, it's just... I love this scent. This wasn't cheap. I'd also like to mention when I paid for this, I felt an idiot for buying this. I should have waited. There was a sale on near Christmas. It was a price match sale. And this is down to like £44. Now this 50ml, I feel an idiot telling you guys this. This is how much I paid for this. This is how much I love this scent. This was £56 for the 50ml. Now I know there's so many people probably sitting going, Lex, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you wasting your money on that? That's so expensive. There's better scents. Listen, there's some scents that are just for you. And um, I've mentioned in my blog about the scent that's just yours, the one. Everyone has their the one. There's always that one scent, doesn't matter how many scents you own, there's that one scent you can always go back to. Let's say you discovered this scent when you're in your 20s. In your 50s you could discover it again and always go back to it. Now I mean, how many Nisha, how many Creeds or Amorage or Montal you've sniffed. This one scent, well it's Nisha designer, whatever it is, will always be your one. And this is my one. I just, I love the scent. It's just so so incredibly sexy. This is just such a sexy scent. I can't describe it any other way. This is just, when I think of this, I think of a playboy. Like imagine, for example, the Mafia Don's son. And, you know, the Don guys, you know, they go in to the market at the club together, right? Fancy club, Porsche parked outside, the sort of club where the bouncer looks like he's an ex-rugby player, and you need to have your name in the list, you know, and you need to be wearing that man's suit to get in and stuff. And while he's doing business with the guy who owns the place, his son's sitting with all the models around him, like, hey, I'm the mafia guy's son. That's the sort of cologne he would wear. It's just so masculine and sexy. It's very seductive. And Armani are very good. I think Armani scents have a real Armani vibe to them. They just have this Armani scent thing. It sounds weird, but Armani scents to me have an Armani vibe. You can sniff all these similar scents that all smell the same Armani, sexy, seductive vibe. I think this is great. Now, longevity and projection really varies with me. I get about six to eight hours tops of this longevity. Two hours strong projection at most. Um, I'm not sure if it's still there, if it's all factor fatigue. It is strong than original. All people get total beast mode with this. It's a skin scent thing. And the rest of them I don't have problems with this one. Others get beast mode, ah, uh, get, yeah, you know, not so much. It is a bit expensive, but for the price, this is just excellent. It's young and youthful. 
but it's really masculine, so I mean you could wear this in your late thirties, you could wear it in your teens. I also highly recommend, oh, the screen's going off. I also highly recommend the original attitude as well to sniff that. And also, like I said, do sniff all ones in the diesel house, like uh, Fuel for Life, only the Wave Tattoo. Sniff the all uh, ones in the XS range, and maybe sniff some more Chanel's and see what you like. But these are just my top five, I hope you like them, so. Yeah, this one's a great, that's number one. So let's go over them again, right? Number five, Black Excess Lexi by Paco Rabanne, released in 2012. Number four, Diesel's Only the Brave, released in 2009. Number three, CK1 Shock for Him by Calvin Klein, released in 2011. Number two, Rue de Chanel by Chanel, released in 2010. And number one, the one and only, the one scent that just really makes me feel like king of the world, or manage Attitude Extreme. The original Attitude is great, I think it might smell better than this, I can't remember, but they're both great. I mean, we're talking, like I said, a smell, a smell it's amazing to smell, it's really amazing, but just not as amazing as the first one. So they're both like, you know, 10 out of 10, 9.5, like the Allure versus Allure Extreme, you know. So really do give us a sniff, this is my number one scent. So yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know a lot of people want me to do this one. Um, so yeah. I went and done it, so I hope you enjoy my picks. Uh, I'd love to hear what you would say as your top five theme clones as well. Uh, give me your feedback, please, in the comments. I'd love to hear. Um, yes, I hope you enjoyed this. Remember that um, there's a link to my blog in the description. I'll have a link to the song I use in the intro. Um, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thank you to everyone who has. Remember, if you go into my channel and click on playlists, there's playlists, then top five, and all these videos will be listed there for you. So yeah, any questions you have as well, please leave them in the comments or send me a personal message, I'll be happy to answer them. Pardon me, another thing I'd like to mention is, when some people comment, um, it doesn't give me the option to reply to them. I don't know if it's their privacy settings or mine or whatever, but it doesn't give me the option to reply to them. So if I don't reply to you, I'm not being rude, I do try my best to reply. So if I don't reply to you um, and you're not getting an answer, send me a personal message because I can reply to that. It's just um, it might be the security settings. So if that happens, I'm not being rude. So yeah guys, thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, keep on smelling fly.